So I want to talk about recovery. What is recovery? Do we decide recovery ourselves? Or do we need some tech to decide our recovery for us? So recovery really got me thinking. I invested in one of these Whoop bands about three months ago and I've been using it 24 hours a day, seven days a week ever since. One of its main functions is looking at what has happened to your body, your heart rate, your heart rate variability, your resting heart rate, your respiratory rate, and the strain that you've taken each day. And then calculating each morning your percentage of recovery. Now, as somebody who likes tech and likes to know facts and figures about myself, particularly because I do a certain amount of fitness, this was just brilliant. I could find out stuff from my watch, I could find out stuff from my whoop, and it would just tell me everything that I needed to know about myself in order to be able to maximise my potential at work and at play. And to begin with, I've got to say, I absolutely loved it. My husband has got one too, so we would compare our recovery rates, we'd compare how many hours sleep we'd had, how many times we'd been awake during the night. We could use it against each other for who was the most tired or who would work the hardest. As all married couples do, I'm sure. I do work the hardest. But after a while, sometimes this recovery feature didn't give me the best start to my day. You see, depending on how recovered you are, you are given a percentage score and that either sits in the red for bad, the amber for you did okay, to the green, you are hitting your goals. And I guess what you're meant to do with that information is if you aren't so recovered, you have not got the ability to add so much strain to your day and you should perhaps be in a little bit more recovery mode to increase that number for another day so that your strain is able to be higher. Or, for example, you would be able to perform better. So to begin with, I've got to be honest, this recovery absolutely dictated how well I thought I was able to strain or be physically active for that day. So I'd go out and do a run, I'd feel really energetic, I'd be smashing my pace, smashing my targets, but I think, well, I can do that because I had a green recovery this morning. And then there'd be other times where I'd feel like I was, you know, running really well and I couldn't understand it because I had an amber recovery and none of that really made any sense. Sometimes I'd even feel pretty good, see that I had an amber recovery and then not perform very well because I'd been told that I wasn't very recovered and that I wasn't able to perform that day. And funnily enough, it was things like alcohol, late nights, not getting enough sleep and working late that caused an amber recovery. Or in my husband's circumstances, a red recovery. So then I started to consider was my whoop telling me anything that I didn't already know? Funnily enough, I know if I don't get enough sleep, have a late night, work late or drink alcohol, I don't feel as good the next morning as I do if I haven't done those things. And so having something tell me I wasn't recovered, was that now impacting my recovery and impacting my ability to be productive the next day because I've been told I wasn't going to be very productive for that day. Also, sometimes I don't have much choice as to whether I'm productive or not. Whoop might tell me that I wasn't able to complete a lot of strain in a day. But I am training for a half marathon at the moment and I am sticking to a very rigid training plan. So if I've got mild repeats to produce on that morning, but Whoop's telling me, you're not really recovered, don't bother having any strain, I haven't really got the choice. So sometimes having that knowledge didn't really alter what I was going to do that day or not. It probably just might have put me in a negative mindset. And that's the last thing you need when you're training for a half marathon. Don't get me wrong, if you are or if I was an elite athlete, I can absolutely see how this rate of recovery and rate of strain could really build into your training plan. It would be monitored by professionals and dietitians and coaches and they would be able to tailor what you need for your training around what your recovery rate is, is saying. However, as much as I like to think I am an elite athlete, I am not. I am your everyday full-time worker who likes to exercise. And so as much as I hate to say it, I'm afraid me and the Whoop are parting company. I have enjoyed getting to know myself better, 
but having thought about it for the last few weeks, I don't think it's told me anything that I don't already know. I am very good at listening to my body. I know if I've slept well. I know if I haven't slept well. I don't need something to tell me that. And I also understand that sometimes I can feel great in recovery and smash out a target. And other times I don't feel so great, but I actually still need to smash something out, even if it's not a PB. And so I've enjoyed my time with Whoop. I've understood my body a little better, but I've also just understood that waking up, seeing how I feel, smelling the air and looking outside is probably as much as I need to know to make sure that I'm hitting my targets and my goals and feeling good at the same time. So while I now try to get rid of a second tan line that I've given myself this summer, please let me know how your experiences have been with using technology and understanding your rate of recovery and your ability to push yourself. It's really interesting to know lots about ourselves, but is there something like knowing too much? It's a fine line and there's grey areas. So I'd love to hear what your views are. Please leave comments in the um, link below and I will look forward to seeing you on the next video. If you haven't already, please smash a thumbs up and subscribe.